Hello and welcome back to Ferris Esports. I'm Coach Eaton or Coach Ricochet uh, on Twitter. You can call me whatever you want. Uh, yeah, so we're here with some Overwatch today. The Overwatch Crimson team has been improving. Been, we've been working on a lot of things. Uh, I've actually set up a Canvas course for the team to kind of work through um, some exercises. Get really solid on a lot of our fundamentals. Uh, and it's definitely been proven off in our weekly scrims. So... Um, I'm excited to kind of see how this match goes here today. It looks like we're heading to Lijiang Tower. Uh, they were playing against Drexel University. Uh, I believe they're from the Pennsylvania area as well. So good to see the Bulldogs kind of come out here, start swinging once we get in game. Let's uh, head on over and take a look. Starting here on Lijiang Tower with the Bulldogs in the blue. Let's see if we're gonna pull that Symmetra teleport out, get on the point here nice and early. Oh, the boop from the Lucio, and the uh, slows them down a little bit. One dropping for Ferris, let's see if they can make a comeback here. Symmetra fully charged and ready to go. The Lamp comes out, saves the Reaper. Ferris down both of their DPS. Should be looking to someone back here. Get out a little bit. Try to get as much ult charge as possible on their way out. Zara getting knocked off by the D.Va as well. Giving up some ult charge to the D.Va there. Let's see how Ferris choose to attack this point. Uh, now that they've lost control. The Reaper a little bit more... Uh, powerful up close than the soldier, so so Ferris can get some good poke in here. That Reinhardt as well, so Ferris should be looking to poke quite a bit while Drexel are looking to kind of sit back, do a little bit of poking, but look at that Zircut with the pick. Playing into that window is going to be tough. Going to need to back up. Going to need to not take any damage from this. That ultimate will get a pick. Yeah, the Reinhardt fire strike through that window uh, will insta-kill any 200 HP target. Um, Ferris deciding to back out now. Ooh, seeing the Reaper teleport, choosing not to throw an orb at it. Kind of an interesting choice there. Ferris backing out a little bit here. Getting prepped to go in uh, one more time. You know, we got 54% taken already from Ferris. Uh, Ferris does have some ultimates online, so we can hope to see those kind of make a big difference here. Star so Blue charging up to that Gravitic Flux. Zircot here with the wall. Let's see if they use the wall to help them engage here. Would like to see it come out pretty shortly. Window from CMG. It's going to be quite large, but Drexel is actually going to back up LOS that window as they should. It's the correct move. Big Gravitic Flux. Shadow ended up falling. Not getting the support they need. Too many ultimates, I will say, used from Drexel. So... Let's see if Ferris can take advantage of that. They only have the Lucio beat remaining, uh, and they're 78% to, to that gra or that uh, sh Earth Shatter from Reinhardt. So, uh, but it is overtime, so they're going to have to touch Zara Blue, choosing to touch first. Lamp does come out. Beat comes out to stop the visor. Shadow falling. It looks like Drexel's going to clutch up map one 99-0. setting the pace here, setting the tone for. Ah, this first match. Let's see how Ferris can come back. Definitely wasn't unwinnable. Let's see how they can come back a little bit more and uh, see what they can do heading into map number two, which is going to be uh, the outdoor one. I'm not 100% sure on the names of everything. Of course, played this game for, you know, 2,000, 3,000 hours, but uh, not sure of the names of all the maps. Classic. Let's see if we're going to get that... Sigma Hog, which is fantastic as well. Great comp to be pulling out here. Water break, of course, always need to stay hydrated. Of course, that peanut butter. They had the, everybody had the peanut butter icon uh, on their team in the lobby. A little bit of icon strats, always a classic. And so now we get to see the difference in the compositions here. That Reinhardt Diva uh, coming out. Interested to see how that's going to play against the Holt Hook. Or not Holt Hook, the Sigma Hog. Uh, 
here from Fair State. Shadow on that soldier is going to be a lot less pressure up close than Beninator 876 on the Reaper. So we're going to see, you know, if Ferris chooses to play this a little bit slower, a little bit further back with some poke. Make sure that they don't give up the early cap, though. Don't want them to do that. Uh, never fun to kind of give up free capture percentage towards that 100% needed for victory. Hopefully we can get the game started here shortly. But it looks like the other team is ready up. And we're going to head on back into map, or the second section of uh, map number one here in this best of three series. They're choosing not to take the teleport, they're taking the Reaper and the May. Uh, I do like the Reaper and the May here. They're going to be a little bit slower to point, but they're okay with that. Uh, they need to get close, get some zone control. Let the tanks get some nice poke in there. Jara blue on the Sigma here. Big hook from Blaze. Nice wall to kind of cut off some of the support, but the supports had to push up into it. They do. Let's see how Ferris chooses the space against this Reinhardt. Big rock coming out from Zara. Lamp coming out early here. The other team does get, Dresel does get the cap, but Ferris gets the first kill on that Symmetra. But she's still doing damage, of course, the church remaining on the point. To see how Ferris can, oh, Zara does end up getting charged here. Let's see if Blaze can, Blaze gets a hook, but it gets Matrix. Great play there from the Diva. Save here from Roadhog, keeping him alive. Already 20% given up on the first fight. Unlucky to see there. Let's see, Zerka blowing the Wraith form there pretty early. But Ferris is coming up on smoke. Let's hope they can use this That Fire Strike coming in there, one shot in. The Nano Blaze still goes down. A lot of ultimates used from both teams. Ferris ended up coming out on the wrong end of that. Used three ultimates in that fight. Uh, not quite able to get what they wanted out of it. Um, and Drexel University actually still has four ultimates they're only like. to themselves a little bit better like. ult cycling here from Drexel but let's see how Ferris can kind of shape that up this blizzard is going to be a big one uh, we'll kind of set the pace for how the rest of this map here goes. see if they can get it off without the D-Way getting it the D was definitely looking for it and should know that it's coming nice wall here and zone Ferris out a little bit I don't know what they can do. They can either, you know, choose to run into it, which can be a dangerous move, or they can kind of sit back, wait it out. But this is going to start to push this into a one fight territory. The hook, the wall, great play there from Ferris. Getting the kill on the baby diva. Now's the time to chuck the lizard as the. There you go, you see it comes out there. Nice beat from Drexel, but it should be in. The blizzard should be in nothing for Not quite. Zerg Hut popping his ultimate as well. Trying to finish off the low health targets here. Zara Blue getting the Reaper with that. The Nano comes out onto Blaze here. Let's see how she can do. The Roadhog, Reinhardt's Shadow making a big difference. Roadhog deciding to blow the ultimate. He's purple. Not quite able to get the point they wanted. They were on point for a long time, but never actually gained control, which is unfortunate. Zerka's here, but the window means he's going to get Quickly tapped by the Reaper. Victory. Unfortunate map one for your Bulldogs. Um, so we'll go ahead and, head and head back in and actually watch that play of the game here if they wait for it. Yeah. Are you my dad as Reinhardt here? I believe this is going to be the Shatter part. Yeah. Shatter now doing quite a bit of damage. That Fire Strike through the window doing so much. The Shatter to stop the Roadhog ultimate. Charging into the Squishies. Ends up getting the Sigma there as well. Great play from the right now. Bouncy Bear with the most healing done in the lobby. Always good to see. Now we are going to come back to the casters as the team is getting set up here in the lobby. Let's see what map fares chooses. Loser of map one 
It's a pick map too. I believe it'll be a hybrid map. So I'm hoping to see some, you know, King's Row, maybe some Eichenwald. I know I would like to see Eichenwald over King Row actually as most teams play Ryan Zarya in King's Row and Ferris is not a Ryan Zarya team at the moment. Um, you know, you saw him playing a lot of the Hog, a lot of the Sigma there. Uh, definitely what we've been practicing on. So I'd like to see them kind of pull out that map as well. Let's see how they kind of do here, see what their choices are. A little bit of deliberation, a little bit of taking some time in the lobby there while we wait on the next map. You know, what are the other... I'm kind of gapping on what the other... It looks like they are picking that involved. Uh, good map here, good map for the Sigma Hog. You know, want to see the team come out and swing on that. The other team does get to pick attack or defense. So we're uh, waiting on them to see what they would like to pick here. You know, defense. So Ferris is going to start out on attack uh, on Eichenwald. Always good to see. Always good to see them come out, come out, s come swing and see how far they can get. Let's see if we uh, get, can complete the map. I'm hoping they can. Um, kind of pull that out here. Looks like we're about to head into game shortly. We will cut to Eichenwald as we come in. Initiating match. Scoreboard going to update here in a second. Showing Drexel up 1-0 in the series, bringing us here. To map two to beautiful Germany. I can vault the castle. Such a fun map. Lots of fun high ground here on point two to play around. Very aggressive choke here in point one. To kind of force the teams to come here. You know, luckily they added this door here. Gives a, the attacking team a little bit more options. So it's not just quite such a solid choke. See what Ferris choose to run out here. I am Drexel coming out on the Torbjorn Ara. And then the double shield with the Baptiste. Double shield with the Baptiste. Uh, you know, really good comp. Oh, tough too. I don't think Orissa's in a very great spot right now. I think she's kind of doo doo, as the kids would say. But um, we'll see how they can make it work here. Ferris should be looking to kind of shield break and uh, get some hooks through the shields there from the Blaze. She'll be playing off the back of Blaze's hooks here. She's been doing well in practice, getting these quite well. So let's see if Ferris can cut through both shields in an efficient manner. Nice hook there. Yup, kills the Baptiste. That's what Ferris is looking for. Blaze does need some help. Waiting on his healers, for her healers to get her back up. Bouncy Bear going down for Ferris State. I'm not sure how the Moira got caught out there. Oh, it's the far, so the far can kind of stand from these off angles now. Expecting the honor to do a lot there. Another great hook here from Blaze. Kind of forced Ferris to do point one. Here. Uh, hook does hit, but foul. Wow, blocked and bounced by the Arisa. Blaze getting close to that ultimate. Really trying to force it in here. Pull him, the tour about, pull him on point, actually. But Ferris do cap it. And Drexel's been pushed very far up for this. So hopefully Ferris can get some big time staggers and really push Drexel back here. Right now they're only waiting on the Baptiste, I believe, being out touch Ferris has dragons and pole hard here. We're getting it. Blaze getting found out, but not able to purple or do any stunts here, so Blaze able to make it out of castle just fine. You can see how Ferris went on using these ultimates and pushing strikes while it looks like coming up on five ultimates actually. Uh, the only one they don't have is the Sigma auto. They might be just doing the fight turn how long it's going. Fine goal coming out first, probably not the best call. Huge play from Physics. Great ultimate there. Getting three. Damage boosted, plus Bongo. That's a lot of damage. So, all the late pickoff here. Hawks getting picked up on that replay. 
not what you want to see with your fair state. Gonna make them wait quite a bit. Gonna come back out on attack here. Let's see how this dragon gets to Zara. Blue does get picked. Uh, and Hawks as well through that window. Windows dangerous, double damage, double healing going through with the team that casts it. Bear's just gonna wait it out, wait till the teammates come back to get six. I wanna see Zara Blue and Shadow combo here. With that big Gravitic Flux followed by the dragons underneath. The dragons do come out. Dragon or Flux gets blazed. Zara using her drag or her flux. Not quite able to pick anything up on it. Doing a lot of damage, but not able to finish anything off in there. The DPS is fair, it's missing. I think to be a whole lot they can do to pick up the kills. Shadow making the switch to the drone deck. Trying to spam through these shields. Laser with that whole hard. Holding onto it quite a bit. We'd like to see the car a little later. Not great opportunities for it to come out. The team falling around there. Even if it's just a fire base shield here, I'm not upset if it comes out. Foe shield's broken. Oh, try to take that bind around. Star of Lulo on that Evo by Kart. Blaze able to get out. Kart does get picked here. Oh, unlucky miss on the sleeping fire. Hitbox can be quite a bit smaller while they're laying down there. Let's see what Ferris's plan are. They switch to the Sigma Diva here. Try to contest the high ground. Get a little bit of pressure. Try to force pressure off of the top of that cast. All the matrix and stuff as the window comes out, Blaze is going to get an enormous shield from this window. He will do a lot of damage from behind, but the team is nowhere to help follow up. Blaze is going to get pinched out here. Able to pick up the Arisa. The Sigma is sleeping as well. Rock on the Mercy. If they can stop the Mercy from resing here, this will be big. But I'm betting that the Mercy gets the res off. Yeah, losing Blaze there. Mercy gets the res off. Swinging the fight back the other way. The shield perfectly keeping the turret up. But Ana, CMG's adventures, Ana able to make it work. Everyone, heal up. Hawk's getting close to his visor. Bouncy bear with the Moira ultimate coalescence. Damage the farm with the mercy's gone. Oh, just walk off the edge there, that's unlucky. The race does get bounced off as well. Hawk's gonna try to hide behind with the visor. Actually, not behind, going back. I forgot that they are on offense here. Enemy turret sighted. 60 seconds remaining. Paris trying to take to wrestle control of this high ground away. Against that fire, it's going to be very tough, though. But Paris does have a lot of damage mitigation from the tanks with both the Elisa and their signal. Big blocks coming up from Blaze here. Pfizer chooses to take the Farah out first. Lots of damage coming out. Mercy going next. Bongo as well. Picking up the Arisa here in the second. Quick fight win from the Bears. Used a lot of ultimates, but uh, they did what they needed to. Kind of secure that. The cart had already been pushed quite a bit as well, so it's like they're going to get that point too. Closing out this map is definitely tough to do, uh, but they are in a position to do so. Especially they got Diva Bomb, they've got that Dead Eye. So, oh no, it wasn't Bomb, sorry, it was a Mecha. Ah, it's just about to Bomb. Let's get pulled around the corner here. Let's see how, I would like to see Blaze actually build up to that Gravitic Flux here before this map ends. This is fair to save kind of a lot of the rest of their ultimates to kind of combo with that. You need one big fight, I don't care if they dump all six ultimates, as long as they can at the end of the point here, so. Make sure we get out safely, get out with some time to kind of recontest. 
also pushing it out. Bars boop does catch Bouncy there. Zara with his bomb here. Looking to enter this fight. With the bomb. Does chuck it in. I do believe Drexel's gonna have two shields, but all of the shields get wiped out. This is a great opportunity for Ferris to Jedi. Shields out of the way. Uh, no defense. Yep. Nice big ultimate here from Shadow. Picking up three. Breaking the shields with the first two shots. Everybody feels safe behind those shields, but you let it charge up long enough, you know, you can even one-shot Reinhardt's shield, so. Don't stand behind your tank. The Arista doesn't get picked up in it, but it looks like the Arista got stunned out of it as well. Trying to pick up the sword here, not quite able to make it happen. Star of Blue, big ultimate from Hawks. Getting three, getting almost four. The Torbjorn is one. Hopefully they're calling that out in comms. Yep, they do get the pick there. Blaze, contesting point with the Moira here. Everybody else scroll. Oh, the kills are a blue gets the kill with the Diva Mech. Such a bonkers change. Trying to see, picking up the Lucio. Ferris should be able to kind of clutch this out. A lot of response coming in here for Drexel, but Ferris has the man advantage on point. Fashion coming out, too much Matrix. With the sucking the signal and the matrix in the diva. Ball's still one. It ball, there's so much life. But Ferris getting so many so quickly they if as long as they don't get pooped off, they need to stay on the point. The bomb from Zara should be able to clear it out here. Ferris continue to get these picks. Break the monkey bubble and then drop the bomb on the top of them. Thing should clear them enough space. Or enough kills at least. Oh, Zara Blue does get taken out. Hawk's coming back. Shadow's the last one there. The Doomfist actually making such a big difference, 0.02 meters. Good push there from Ferris, 67.67 meters, 0.02 meters away from finishing the map. So Ferris with a great offense there, coming out swinging. Now all they need to do is hold Drexel from getting that far on the map and they win this map too and send us into that tiebreaker on map three. So let's see if they can kind of uh, pull it off here. If you've ever watched the cinematic, you know, Reinhardt's commander, spoiler alert, does end up dying, and you can see them in the chair there. Coming through the map, the you know, door is about to get respawned. Right in keep everything safe. Nice little gap in it, though. You can still make it on the top of the door if you need to. Stacking up on defense, that double shield, that junk rat, that soldier. Lots of pressure from distance, lots of spam damage through this choke. We're looking to farm out these support ultimates and let her rip early in the fight. Let's see if they can make it work. Yep, it looks like Drexel's coming out on that Reinhardt. Reinhardt Diva, interesting they're playing that Diva. I am a big fan, big Zarya enjoyer. Um, so much damage. Laser beam as well, but there's playing back, forcing Drexel to walk through these damn chokes. Drexel, the Diva is going to make them get these chokes a bit easier. You know, it lets the whole team kind of block that damage off. As opposed to that Zarya beam. The bubble only having one target. Drexel trying to get as close as they can at first, trying to keep space without giving them time. Going gold, keeping the reason nice and healthy. Take less damage. Reinhardt's one, almost gets the pick here. Lamp does come out, they push the lamp early, but Orissa goes down. See how Hawks on the jump right here. Gets the picks on the Hanzo, but both tanks down for Ferris. They're going to have to back out here for a second. Give up the point. Not a little bit faster than we'd like to see Fares hold, but the support's just building up those ultimates so quickly. For the side of Drexel. Drexel taking a lot of damage, but spread out from all the Fares sources while they're giving all the heals. The Lucio's there for the speed. Makes him get that window early in fight one. Needs to fight it. So we're gonna have a rip tire come online here soon for Ferris, as well as the tactical visor. So 
They're just backing. Drexel is waiting on something. Not quite sure what it is. I don't know if they're talking about something. Kind of waiting for the Matrix to come back. They're waiting for the speed boost cooldown and the Matrix cooldown to come back. Let's see if Ferris giving up the high ground. Uh, Drexel doesn't really have the DPS to kind of make use of controlling the high ground. I'd we'll like to see Ferris stay up there and contest that a little bit more. They're kind of trapped in a corner here, but I do like the fact that they're thinking proactively, rotating proactively. You know what their comments do. Forcing Drex to take an awkward situation here. Let that rip tire go. So free here. We're going to clear that out first. Yep. And then uh, the Baptiste of it is just free jump. Hawk's trying to get to the high ground to let it rip. Not able to make it happen. Blazing the sucker getting bullied on point. Zara Blue using the Matrix. Try to get this Zarya out of there. A lot of ultimates on board. 11 ultimates prepped and ready in this lobby here. Let's see who can use their ultimates better, more efficiently. That's going to determine how this point B goes. Getting a lot of chip damage on this shield. Bongo early. I like to see that aggressive play by Blaze. Try to keep that Bongo alive as much as possible. The window. Both teams dropping window. Beat coming out as well. I'd like to see Zarya throw the bomb in here if possible. Hawks needs to use the rip heads. She's been holding on to it. Or they've been holding on to it for so long. Hawks gets two though. But I don't think it's going to be enough to get the team what they need. In order to get this whole Crux is going to have a lot of time. I believe it's around 5 minutes. Yep, 442 here to cap this final point. All they do actually need to do is complete the map itself. Uh, because Ferris was 0.02 meters short. So if they do get a map completion here, that's a win. Ferris needs to hold it off for 4.5 minutes now. Uh, but they have the ultimates to do so. They can sequence them correctly and effectively. That's going to be their key to success here. Big bomb out from Zara. Gonna get Ferris a lot of space. They're gonna pressure this Diva. He was able to get out though. Drexel backs off entirely. They wait for the rest of the team to show up that Hanzo did get picked. And that's fine. Both teams just staging prepping for this next fight. That shatter's gonna be a huge tool from Drexel. That window. Drexel's flank is building up so many windows here. Big value from there. The Hawks still holding on to that Riptire. We need to see that Riptire come up. We could have had two or maybe even three more uh, at this point. So. Really want to see that Riptire come up. Yeah. The Reaper ultimate targeting the Riptire, taking it out. That might just be it for fair. Ox here trying to do a last second defense. Get somebody trapped. Doesn't choose to clear him out. Unfortunate there. Let's see if Blaze and Shadow can combo well enough to get that. They do not. Unlucky from Ferris for map two. Watch this. Great visor here from Hawks. Nice rocket there. Gets the mercy. Gets the Ursa. Gets the ultimate. Oh, it doesn't play the ultimate stage more. Gets the bad teeth. And it cleans up the Torbalon at the end of there as well. Looks like we're headed into map number three I believe it's a best three out of five so we'll be here for a bit more for that reverse sweep be here till map five easy clap I'm gonna see what Ferris chooses to for their map choice for map number three here. Interested to see. Uh, we could obviously tell that Drexel is favoring those Rhine comps, getting up and in your face. So we're going to see how Ferris, you know, what 
map first chooses to kind of uh, mitigate the Rhine and see if they can't get a little bit more space, use a little bit more of those high grounds, kind of put some pressure on the tank line of Drexel. But in the meantime, we're going to throw you to a nice little video here from Ferris Housing, and uh, we'll be back shortly. Hey Bulldogs, it's Move In 2020. Let's see how the students are getting settled in. Just in time to see. Attackers incoming in Ferris. Oh, we are back in time just again to see the Ferris State Bulldogs play their defense here against Drexel University. Or Drexel College, I'm not sure. Um, Drexel coming out. Uh, looks like they're going to play the bunker comp with a tracer. Interesting. A lot of times you'll see a bunker with something like a Hanzo or a far off to the side can put a lot of pressure but Tracer's going to be a lot of a little bit more direct one-on-one -on -one pressure um, not able to quite utilize those off angles as much let's take a look at this from the bash let's see if Ferris can get a pick on this bash get a big hook Hawks does get a pick uh, Beninator there, Bashan running into a tough spot. Big hook for there for Blaze, but nobody's able to follow up. Does get triple, does get one. Big suck up for Garbage, who does end up going down. Blaze out here getting picks. Bouncy Bear, kill with Moira's skill orb. The Bash is caught out in a bad spot here. And that Bash is going to be tough. Drexel putting a lot of resources into keeping this Bash up. Blaze. Not sure who they are hoping. Ooh, physics goes down to one. Lamp comes out again. Oh, that window's gonna be deadly. Blaze pulls him out of the window. Blaze gets nanoed. Great play there from Blaze. Drexel looking to get the res here, but Blaze is gonna say no. Make sure we get him out. 
wondering if Drex was going to use this tank form or if they're going to just kind of switch off the Bastion now that they've been pressured off the point. Typically, that's a one push. You get one push, put the Bastion, and then you gotta switch. Let's see how it works. Good. Another great one from Blaze. Try to stop that Bastion. Not quite able to get anything from it. Putting a lot of pressure on building a pedal. Another hook. Ooh, what a weird, weird spot. Uh, not for Blaze, but for the game itself. Hawks taking up that physics. But they do get the res off. Okay, they burn the res, but that Bongo coming out. Big Bongo. Lots of damage in here. Front to the back. The boy's going to try to get a pick on the Tracer on the way out. And not able to find it. This Sigma will be even better than Mercy. Drexel tracking heaven, they know. Somebody wants to be up there. Good spot for a mom with that threat. to sit. Elias does get pulled, but both of the support players there to help. Purple almost catches the best. Nice! Boy, there's a big. Vi or Bob got wrecked immediately, but the visor comboed with the Sigma Flux is enough at the bet. Looks like Ferris could use their Nano as well. Looks like it went on the Bouncy Bear actually. Probably meant to go on the Blaze. Just uh, Bouncy Bear having to jump in front of it. Is staging well. They can hear the footsteps of Drexel. Big purple. Blaze going to get that for sure guaranteed pick. Ahmed Senyata gets the vape off quickly. All the honors distracted. Oh, the Matrix is saving the honor. Pops up here. He does get stuff. Put some pressure on the divers. They go dive, they got off the back. Wow. They're running that Genji. Genji dive. This is a traditional old school dive with the Zen and Ana. A lot of damage coming out from this team. They can isolate specific targets. They are trying to make a move to touch the car. It doesn't quite get there for long enough to make that much of a difference. Hawk's going to have visor here. Better off just staging on the high ground and getting into good position. Got that visor. Boy's making it to the high ground. Controlling some space on that ball. Zenyatta's one. CMG does help to, to secure the pick there. Boy's using all of that shielding. Boy's gets the honor as well. This should be a one fight for Ferris. No support from the side of Drexel Universe. Pick as well, the stagger kills. Great for Ferris and burning a lot of the time off the clock. This point C defense on Junker Town can be quite tough to crack. Kind of need a big overwhelming fight win towards the end to kind of lock that in. The Nano Monkey jumping up. Yeah, it does end up frying, huh? It's tough to defend against without some teammates' help with there. Pulse Pump goes down, not able to find anybody. Zerghut popping the overload. Get some more first damage in there. Winston wreaking havoc in the back. But they are able to pick him without giving up too much cart pressure as well. Ferris up one. Should be able to get some space here, kind of win this fight. Blaze does take out Lunar Vortex as well. Blaze, absolute you know, team captain. 
standout performer on this team. Played multiple different roles over the years. Uh, absolutely great player. Always glad to have her be the team captain. Come on, play this well for the Ferris team. See if the ball can use the knock up that stun there, the slam to kind of keep them from diving in. Monkey's gonna dive in. Are they gonna be able to get free? Zerka does end up falling down. Ratgun takes out Zara Blue with the remix. They also pop the Nano Blade. Interesting. Ferris does end up using Nano Visor. Um, but they're actually using four ultimates in that fight and not gonna be able to secure the map, so Ferris should be able to come out. CMG goes down very late. That's really unfortunate stagger for Ferris. Let's see how Blaze decides to go in, get the slam here, I'm assuming right after the time. Good timing there, shoot the big Beninator, able to get, uh, get two with the Pulse Bomb, but Blaze picks up two with the Mines and another with the Guns, the Mac Diva Mac there. Blaze picks up a third with the mines. Great play from Ferris to hold this defense without allowing to get over the game. So far. It's not over till it's over, but it's looking pretty good for Ferris to hold this. Game. Blaze getting a lot of corner center from behind. Coming in with the big stuns, the big slams. Nice work there from Ferris. Keep Drexel from finishing the map on Junker Town. Now all Ferris needs to do is finish the map themselves to take us into map four and start the reverse sweep. I believe. I believe Bulldogs, let's get her done here. Scrap heap, a little bit of electricity kicking out of it, you know. The Junker Town itself, with its large walls. The scrapyard. Always thought it looks kind of tasty in a grungy kind of way over here. Get a little food poison, but it'll taste good. Can't complain, you know. All the way out to the Australian wasteland. Just vastness. Overwatch Australia. Bears coming out with that Hog Sigma composition like we've seen them before. That Torbjorn and the McCree as well. And the double shield Zenyatta Bap. Ooh, this is a very damage heavy, very spam heavy comp coming out from Drexler. Let's see what Hawks can do here on this McCree. Try to get some shield break in. Get some hooks for Blaze. Trading toward turrets. There's getting some space here. One of the bad piece spamming it behind you. Voice line always uh, fun to hear. Okay. Ooh, Blaze getting pulled off around the corner into all the spam damage. Look at that. The Baptiste already has the ultimate, and Ferris supports are 50% to their ultimate. That's the advantage of running that off off support, you know, doing a lot of damage on the Baptiste as well, but uh, giving the majority of the heals to one player if you're confident that they can keep up with it. See what Blaze chooses to do here, diving into the Zenyatta. Against that Discord Orb, it's really going to be hard without any additional support. The rest of Ferris should have been there to help. Dragon's coming through, not going to get anything, going to split the team, going to force him back, but they're already headed out anyway. 
Hawks does pick up a kill on physics. Star Blue gets the pick on Plankus. Let's see how Hawks is ultimate gets some value here. I would like to see this ultimate come out to stop the signal up. Ooh, nice headshot there. Didn't even go for the right click like I would have done. Ferris do end up cleaning up this fight quite well. Good job saving the ultimates from Ferris as well. Ferris heading into this next fight. Up six ultimate to three if you count that transcendence as well. So Drexel using ultimates and still losing the fight. Always good to see Ferris clutch it up with a strong neutral game. But now the the tough thing to do here with six ultimates is not overuse ultimates. They gotta do their best to use them effectively, use them with each other, call and coordinate who's going to use what ultimate. The mines get dropped first, that's always a good one that's gonna put on the battlefield, make it big danger zone. The enemies can't go in. That didn't doesn't end up finding the pick, it does force them off the high ground. Uh, maybe with this slam, Zarvi's gonna go in, try to get Nice good bit of flex here. Bongo comes out. Would like to see the flex come out soon. At this point, you're down to. Ferris decides to back out. Save their ultimates. They use that coalescence. But ultimately, you get back would be not too big of a deal to kind of just chuck it out there. Blaze diving in on that ball. Pulling everyone together. This would be the perfect time to go for it. Oof. Plank is getting another big double kill. Zerghut doing his best to get it out. Drops the turret as a decoy. Tries to get out. Oh, is he going to make it? Got the jukes and is able to make it to his healers. Saves the stagger. Saves the stagger, which is good. Sonic out for Drexel. Corby one, the only one on the world ground here. You see Azar is going to use a nice slam there from Blaze. Pop the trance out. I'd like to see the Gravitic Flux come out here. Big Dead Eye does get stunned out of it. Zergot does get the pick on Physics, but it's traded back. Another kill. Equalized up. Ben and Ator's turret killing Bouncy Bear. Drexel's up one. Let's see if Bears can clutch up this fight from behind. Another lamp out from CMG. Point is building up to another one. Very close to that one as well. Big play from the Sigma. Plank is killing Zard from behind. Even though she was using the suck to try to get some health back. S -s Absorb all that damage. You know, it only absorbs from in front of you. So shots from behind, able to take her out. Ferris now has no ultimates heading in. Minute and a half left to charge them up. Try to look out to close out point two. Take us into a brick three. Use the diva effectively to follow up on the ball's engagements. That yeah, playing ball in a Discord is so tough. So much damage. All of them getting amplified. Sorry, we're just gonna try to sneak the card away. Not able to really get anything. Zaniana on cart, what was called the voice comes, I'm assuming in order for you to kind of make that dive. Or Blaze probably called out that she was diving on it. But unfortunately just trading out. Oh, big sand here from Blaze. Nice lines. Let's see if we can get the zoning that we needed it to. The Torb just kind of eat and walk through a bunch of it to kind of soak a bunch of it up with the turret coming through. Slime it a bunch of it too. Bongo. That's no good. There's ends up losing this fight. Ultimates coming out everywhere from Drexel. They don't need to hold on to him anymore. It is last night, so let her you know, dying again with CMG's window. And Zerg Huts 
Molten core, never good. I kind of die with those. Let's see if Ferris can make a miracle happen. Possibly Molten core, not quite able to touch. Ferris drops the series 3 3, or sorry, 3 0 to Drexel University. Great play from Drexel coming out today. The Bulldogs are looking better. You could tell they're getting better, improving on their fundamentals. They definitely were in it. This was definitely a winnable game. Very close match, um, especially on Drunker Town here. You know, almost getting through that second point, uh, making it. They held the opposing team um, from completing the map, uh, Drunker Town, which is always good to see as well. But that will wrap up all of our matches for today. Thank you for tuning in, coming and supporting your Ferris Esports. We always love having you guys in the chat. You know, I'm always constantly reading the chat. I've got the chat on the monitor over here. Feel free to spam in there. Uh, have some fun with it. You know, we're here to have a good time. We're here to uh, get the get the players on the screen and kind of show off their personalities. And, and you guys get to watch some cool, fun, entertaining collegiate esports events. Um, if you know anybody who's interested in playing for Ferris, we do have scholarships available coming up in the fall. Uh, and then in the fall of 23, we're actually going to have a new esports arena. It's going to seat around 60 people to come in and spectate live esports events along with a big stage up front. All the players are going to have cameras on. We're going to do quite a bit of production for that. So we're very excited to you know get people in there, get big of production events going, working with uh, the other programs on campus, the event management people, the sports communication people, getting them uh, you know, in casting, the, the sports comp students in and casting, getting the event management pe people uh helping us set up some of these big local Michigan tournaments. Stay tuned on news for the Michigan Bandwidth Bowl. Uh, that's coming up this April as well. That's going to be entertaining. We have some cool surprise guests coming for that, so uh, keep keep tuned for that. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at Ferris Esports. Uh, you know, feel free to reach out to us that way. I'm in charge of that. Esports at Ferris.edu is a great email. If you want to get a hold of me, message me on Discord. Um, you can find my Discord through my Twitter at Coach Ricochet. Thank you guys all for coming out. Uh, we're going to head out with the, the Overwatch video. And we will see you guys next time.